All right, what's up, guys? I'm showing you how to use GIMP, a free software that you can get online. I'll put the download in the description um, to create and design your own custom YouTube background, which is kind of cool. It makes your page feel a little bit more yours and just totally customized, which I think a lot of people enjoy for some reason. I don't know. I like to see other people's custom pages for some reason. So it's kind of a cool addition to your page, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's real easy. Uh, download GIMP. I'll put the link in the description, like I said, and it's totally free, so don't worry about having to pay for it or anything like that. So it's an awesome software. I definitely recommend it for all kinds of stuff. I use it all the time. All right, so download it and then run GIMP. Just click on it, and this is what it looks like when it sets up. All right, so once you've loaded GIMP, go to File. Uh, under file go to new and under image size you'll have width and height and put width at 2000 2000 oops 1000 and put height at 2000 all right and then also make sure it's on pixels not anything else all right and then click okay all right so to start off there's a there's a lot of cool things you can do with this you might want just want to play with it around i'm not going to go through everything but some of the coolest stuff i think is uh well, first you have your basic. You can f just fill in the background with black if you just want to do that. It's not really cool, but you can put pictures over it and stuff like that. Uh, one of the coolest things I like to use is um, this thing in your toolbox called uh, the Blend Tool, which is a lot of fun to use. Um, you can put different colors, and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so, well, you can just drag this line across, and you'll have these colors all mixed together. And looks really cool, color scheme. Really cool on your page, you know. So, uh, and another thing you can do, you can go to shape, and you can do all different kinds of stuff. You don't just have to do, like, one straight line. My probably personal favorite is a spiral. I think it looks the coolest. Um, just like that. I, I think that looks really cool. Okay, but there's a lot of different ones you can use. I'm not going to go through all of them. But there's a lot of cool things. You might just want to play with around with those. So, okay, another cool thing that you might want to do is uh, the text. Text box is another really important thing to take advantage of. Um, you might want to put your name at the top of your page, and you can use this to do that. So, put, say, um, Orion is I. Totally messed that up, but, you know, you get the point. Close. I'm going to change this font to white. And then you can change the size of your font over here to make it actually visible. I would definitely recommend making this box smaller than you'd think about this size, because, uh... It will it will come up and it will look much bigger. Uh, this is about the size I that's about the size I use on my page, and you can see it came up pretty big. So I would use about that size, and also uh, definitely make sure I I would kind of recommend you put it about if you can use these lines about 400 up here. You can use these lines each. Every other line is 100, so I'd put it at 400 because at about 200. 250 your uh, your page actually cuts off so um, none of this past 250 is going to show at least so I, I would put it about around 350 or something like that and you can do multiple of these boxes so uh, you might want to put one down the side that says oh you might put O oops, capital O enter R enter Y enter you can put your name down here it looks really cool and is I. Uh, it looks really cool, I think. Change the font to white and make this size a little bit bigger. So you can just have it down the side of your page and that will come up. And I just think it looks really cool. You can put like subscribe or your name or anything like that. Anything you might want to, I don't know, what your channel is mostly about, stuff like that. It, it's just kind of cool little thing to uh, let people know who you are. So. There's other cool things like uh, these brushes. I'm probably not gonna be able to use them. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, uh, I'm using Cam Studio to record this stuff, and while I'm running it, a lot of stuff on this doesn't work. But it will work for you as long as you're not recording for it. So don't get the impression that it's broken or anything. It's just the fact that I'm recording, so some stuff won't work. Oh, well, that's why. Um, just go to a box, make a new box. Uh, you might want to make a new layer even. Say 2000, 2000. You can name it anything you want. Um, you can hold Control L and the layers box will come up and you can see all the different layers and what they look like over here. So you don't really have to name them too much. Uh, you make a new box. 
and just color it in if you want to with your brush you can do all kinds of stuff you can fill you can use a different gradient like i don't know different colors Let's say blue you want to make it blue there you can do something cool like this uh there's a lot of kind of cool stuff i'm not going to go be able to go through all of them but uh you might just want to play around with it it's it's really a lot of fun to use all right so uh there's text there's that paint brushes pencils uh you can write all kinds of stuff make it look just kind of cool make it your own um as far as this stuff goes i haven't really played along played around with it too much basically the main things you want to learn how to use are the text tools uh, the grading tool is probably my favorite. Uh, I'll show you how to Photoshop using putting pictures in here and stuff like that in a uh, Photoshop picture or a video. So look out for that. It'll be a big help to making even more awesome background. So this is basically just a crazy <laughs> background that really doesn't make any sense, but you get the basic idea of how to use it. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them. But all right, so now say you want to save it and put it as your background. You're going to go to File, Save, and under Save, you're going to name it just, we'll say, YouTube 1 or something like that. It doesn't really matter what you name it. As long as you put, you want to make sure you do this, uh, JPJ, oh, sorry, JPG, not JPG, J, JPG at the end. So that will put it in your pictures and save it in your pictures. So just click Save, Export, and Save again, and it's going to export it. All right, so now what we're going to do is go to the internet if you want to put it on your page. Uh, go to themes and colors, uh, show advanced settings, and delete whatever picture you have on right now. It could be anything. All right, so once you, you go to browse, go to pictures, and now it should be under here somewhere. Let me find it. Might take a second since. All right, see, so YouTube one. It'll be wherever you name it. I think they're in alphabetical order. So you just open. And you might want to, yeah, okay. And I, I always click uh, repeat background just in case it doesn't fill up the whole thing, but mine luckily did. So as you can see, uh, your background, it did cut off a lot. So you might want to put it at, I would say, about 350 just to be safe, your uh, your type or your text around here, uh, just to be safe to make sure it does get in there. It'll be real, it'll be kind of aggravating if it doesn't. But you can always go back and change it and stuff like that. So, all right, uh, that's basically it. Uh, that's how you change your background. You can always delete it and put something else in. I'm gonna put the one, I'm gonna put my uh, put my Call of Duty one in here. So I just name my stuff all different kinds of crazy stuff. But all right, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, look out for the video of how to Photoshop if you want to learn how to do that. It's pretty easy. Um, I definitely recommend using it because it can you can make really cool backgrounds with that. So, thanks for watching. Like and favorite this video and subscribe if you are interested. So, all right, thanks for watching. Bye.